It was advertised as Raleigh's number one New Year's Eve bar crawl. Hundreds of people bought tickets, but the event never happened. And now many are asking if they were scammed. WRL's Eric Miller has been digging into this and joins us now live with more. Eric. Well, Deborah, we've been hearing these stories all afternoon and all evening. People looking for something fun to do over the holiday, instead finding themselves out some serious cash. Mitch McCoy says the first sign something was wrong was when he and his wife went to check in at the promised registration site, Ugly Monkey Party Bar in downtown Raleigh. And then 30 people started showing up, 40 people started showing up, and nothing was happening. No registration, no wristbands, nothing. The group of four had found the Raleigh New Year's Eve bar crawl online. The Eventbrite page promising drink tickets, food, photos, and free entry to four Raleigh bars. So we were like, oh, you can't beat this. This was awesome. So. Yeah awesome it wasn't. Mitch said eventually there were hundreds of people there waiting and no sign of the event organizers. And there was a group of about 400 people just sitting there. Tickets for the bar crawl cost $70 a person. That money seems to be gone. Oh, at this point, uh, yeah, there's not much hope. WRAL reached out to the bars listed on the crawl. Flying Saucer confirmed they were aware of the event, but had spoken to an organizer weeks ago. They're unaware of why it didn't go forward. There's no such bar in downtown as Trophy Bar. The closest thing, Trophy Brewing and Pizza, said they'd never heard of the bar crawl and had closed at 9 p.m. on New Year's Eve. WRAL also tried reaching out to the bar crawl's organizer, Chris Despez. We haven't received a response. 100%, 100% believe it was a scam. Mitch McCoy says he's reached out to Eventbrite to try to get a refund. And they pretty much said to contact the event host. Um, and so that is where we're at right now. Not the start he was hoping for this new year. My plan going forward is if anything seems off, then I'm not doing it. Yeah, within the last hour, we got a chance to talk to the folks at Ugly Monkey Party Bar as well. They confirmed that they had also heard from this organizer in the lead up to the holiday. But on New Year's Eve, that organizer was not answering calls, not answering texts. We should also stress here that none of these bars had any part or of planning, organizing or sponsoring this bar crawl. They're just as confused and just as left in the lurch as the folks who bought tickets. Deborah. We'll continue to try to follow up on getting some answers. Eric Miller live in Raleigh. Thanks, Eric.